Well, this is it. One last race. One final opportunity. And one more episode remaining. This is Auto Rock and Racing 94. Here is with a, here it is. The last episode of Morgan Shepard Championship Mode here on NASCAR He2. Homestead Miami Speedway is either going to be me, Daniel Suarez, Justin Allgaier, or Dan or William Byron. Among these four, who will become champion? I have 15 wins, but those wins mean absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing in this final race. Because this is only one episode, I'm here, here's the custom difficulty. It's been 100 all season long. It's been 13% all season long. I was going to do a quarter distance, but I decided that I need to stay consistent because qualifying has made anything but consistent, so I'm going to stick with 13. Here you go. I will do group qualifying. I will to increase my chances of qualifying good because remember, stage points are vital. I could, I could work my way to the front, but I need to beat those three other guys to have any chance of winning. So without further ado, let's go to Homestead. Let's do this! And here's the one guy we need to beat. If there's one guy I really need to beat right now, it's Daniel Suarez. He's the only guy that, that, have, that, have, that won in the previous round. And that was, without a doubt, at Texas. Texas? No, not Texas. See, I even forgot what race was it. So, let's see. Phoenix, Texas. Damn, what race was it? Kentucky? I don't remember. I don't remember. That doesn't really matter. Daniel Swarm was the only guy that, that won in the previous round. I won the last two races. I won at Phoenix. More importantly, I swept Phoenix. So without further ado, one last tango. That's what I'm calling it. Well, one last dance. Only before we go on, I wanted to say, for those who have watched every single episode thus far, I truly appreciate it. It's been a long journey. But I decided it's got to end here because other people, other notable channels, have already are doing Morgan Shepard and their career mode in this game. Keep in mind, I was the first one to do this. I was the first one to do Morgan Shepard of any mode. Career, season, championship, whatever. So I was the first one. Remember that. So here we go. Let's do qualifying. And I got 20 minutes to get a decent qualifying lap. Let's see how this goes. Because I've never done group qualifying. The only time I played here at Homestead thus far was... The very first video I ever made on NASCAR V2, it was the one where I drove with Joe Nemechek's truck, where I had a restart, and I barely beat Reed Smith during the days where the final results were, had, were errors, were flawed, they were flawed, every which way imaginable, because until the patch, I don't know why. So throughout the season, those, whenever I get into a tight battle, the guy that finished second may finish 39th or 15th or whatever. Do, probably we're going to do like five minutes of clock. Got to keep an eye on the tire wear. I kept the tire wear and fuel at normal. Way too tight here. Way up high on the wall. It's going to be a slow lap. Unlike in the previous less, previous episodes, I don't have to worry about how bad I am. But I got to be better than 32.8 for sure. Because of this, because more than ever, Qualifying is key. I have to qualify good. Oh, look at that, Harrison Rhodes. One last episode where I have to worry about him. I finally realized why Harrison Rhodes was has been good in this game and good in general. And he even got better with this pack. I realized that he was part of those one of the many couple of drivers that did videos or videos, excuse me for that matter, of uh, career mode. Where you have like, congratulations, nice job, you made it to the next round. And congratulations on your first win. Excellent job and uh, all, all that stuff. You know, career mode where you have Austin Cedric saying that he'll contact O'Donnell um, um, and say that my driving is garbage. Yeah, Steve O'Donnell. Yeah, that is the thing with Austin Cedric. My laps have not been any faster. Good news is I'm I'm quicker than William Byron. No, I'm not anymore. Ugh, yeah, it's gonna be bad. 
I need to find three tenths. Because I cannot, I cannot afford William Byron, Daniel Suarez, or Justin Allgaier to off qualify me. Because if they, even if I call, there you go, there's the problem. Oh my goodness, Brandon Brown, you stupid bum, get out of the way. I need to add tires. Yeah, we're we're nowhere near. We don't have the speed. We don't have the speed yet. Let's bump it up to a 25, 32. Let's bump, yeah, let's put 39, 30 percent tape. Let's see if this kind of helps because I need to find three tenths, and it's not going to help when everybody's on the track right now. I was the only reason why I was thinking 25% because I wanted to see how pit road works. 15 second stop is not a good time. And I dropped the six and Harrison Rose is faster to me. No, we can't have that. We cannot have that. That's the only reason why Harrison Rose is good in this game. Because he will, he's part of the development of this game. Only reason why he'd be good. Only reason. Now we need to find, we need to find five half a second. We need to find that speed. And we're not going to find it by going that, by that tonal engine. Remember, we have to make it to the next round. That's all that matters, but... Yeah, we're dropping like flies. We are horrible right now. Well, it doesn't matter what format you do, you're gonna be trash. Oh my goodness, just Dylan Lupton for fuck's sakes. What do you mean? Guess we're gonna have to pit for four more tires. Until we get it right. I am going to keep on pinning until we get it right and no bum gets in the way because we need to qualify well. Because if we don't qualify well and one of those championship four guys wins any of these stages, we've just lost a championship. We just literally lost a championship. So we need to find any form of grip or momentum going forward. So if I have to pit every time I mess up, I will do so. Seventeen threes. So you're telling me this pit stop is gonna be worse. You're garbage pit crew. You're garbage. This is where a track map will be very handy, so I know where the hell everybody is on the track, so I know when I can blend in, where I don't have to worry about certain back markers that get in the way. We're gonna try this again. Now we're getting, we have to find half a second here. This is, yeah, this is a bad entry. We're still safe. I wish I could tell who wants the safe zone, but I think this is a free round qualifying for the big turn in Talladega being just only two. Qualifying is, is garbage. Race trim, I can probably run those laps that they have right now. We're nowhere near us. We don't have the speed. Look at all these cars we're passing. I am literally going full throttle here. Now we drop to 11. Great. How are we not that fast? I don't have grip in this track. We look like I can get by these guys, but I cannot seem to uh, seem to translate it when qualifying speed. Oh, 
This qualifying got ruined. Oh, thanks, Ty Dillon. Now you made me win. I don't care if I'm black flag at this moment. We don't have the speed in qualifying, and that's very vital. If I drop to 11, then great. I'll start on the inside, but I don't want to start on the bot on the high line. If the, the stage, the championship will be over. The reason why I'm doing group qualifying because to me it feels like I need. I feel like it's necessary. Oh sure, 30 seconds. It seems like every time I come in, they become garbage. Yeah, thanks, Todd Dillon. I appreciate that. Damn, you suck, pit crew. I don't want this camera. Get this camera off me. Get out of here, pit crew, before I run you over. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, great. Now we're down to 12. We need speed. We need greasy, fast speed. There's Elliot Salad going by. He's not a factor. This is disgusting. Brendan Brown is I'm barely ahead of Brendan Brown. How bad is my car ever got in? Yeah, we're not we're not even gonna make we're not even gonna top five with that with that damage. Oh might as well skip might as well do two more laps here. Oh really Harvick. Oh really you're gonna play this way, huh? Smithley. Hello, Ben Kennedy. Damn, we cannot get it off the exit. Damn, we suck. One more lap, and if I don't get any better, we're parking it. you Dylan locked in all right 19th we're still garbage At least we qualify well and at least we qualify, we're not going to start in the back. That's all that matters at this moment. We're going to have to pit again, however. Oh, you're not too fast. Hey, you gotta slow down. Yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not going to pit yet. Let me put some of that tape. Let me put some of that tape back because I'm not gaining any speed. Well, let's go, Leah. Yeah, let's try this again. There we go. OCD kicking in in this one. I know we have. Jeez, let's just kill Carl along. He's not moving.
Is Carl Long gonna just sit there the whole time until he qualifies? Damn, you suck. This is not a cookout meal, this is a fucking championship we're winning. Freaking, oh great, yeah, aerodynamic damage, yeah, that's great. I'm not even bother looking up the lap time. I was just gonna look at the qualifying times, so just not worry about where I am. Because we're not gonna win the poll. Morgan Shep is gonna probably win or lose the championship one of eight polls in his resume. Then again, Matt Kenseth won no polls 2003 despite starting in first because of rainouts. But that's a different story. Yeah, we'll, yeah, 109. Yeah, he doesn't. We need to find speed in that mid corner. So we're stuck at 152. We should be at least at 154, 155. He's gonna get in the way, isn't he? Oh, great. At the wall. Now we have to restore, I have to redo this qualifying lap. How bad is it? Oh, great. Now I bump it up into a percent. That's awesome. How am I not getting by Michael and Ned here? Yeah, where'd it go, Michael? And then you just ruined another lap time. Oh, you want to go hard, huh? You want to go hard, huh? Yeah, enjoy. Yeah, enjoy getting wrecked. Yeah, enjoy getting wrecked because you just ruined my lap time completely. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy not making the third hey, round, you Mario. fool. Back here again. Still not getting any speed. We have to do the same old song again. And see if Carl Long actually exited. Oh, Carl Long did survive. Nope, he did not. Well, Carl Long, I just killed Carl Long. So many chances of making it. Uh, it's okay, he'll start 24th, so at least I will start no worse than 23rd if Carl Long does not move. So, hello, Carl. You're going to start with me, most likely. Yeah, thanks for the update, jackass. No, J. I think that no. I'm telling you, JR Morgan, Michael Lynch just here to ruin my chance of winning. He's trying to be biased on Byron and all that. That's the desperate. That's his agenda. That's why he's here today at Homestead. He's not here for a win. He's not here to qualify. He's just trying to ruin any chance of me qualifying good and get a stage point. That was a horrible exit. Horrible entry. Where is the roids in this car that I when I need it? What's the roids that, that where's that turbo boost from Loudon? Oh yeah, that's gonna help with that tone. Kidding me? I cannot. Okay, that's my best lap. I cannot gain anything. What are we running at? 31s? So don't want to start forward again. At least somebody knocked me down to 15. Great, I dropped the 152. Yeah, we're not even good. We're done. We're not even gonna make it to the next round. Oh, wow, somehow I got a faster lap. I'm not even looking who's in it because I know Harrison Brooks gonna out qualify me like a bum. God 
damn it! An 18th war, wow, awesome, fucking awesome! Harrison Rhodes in the fucking front row, most likely. Let's win this damn championship. Great, you got full lots to freaking do it. Thank you, Harvey. Now I can torment everybody. Get out the way, I got a championship to win. Alright, I got by one of them. Cannot let Suarez win this stage. Or Byron. I'm gonna end up in third out of this. And I'm only gonna barely gain anything. I barely gain anything at all with three laps to go in stage one. Not wreck anybody. I'm sorry, Arizona Rhodes. I'll deal with you later. Come on, come on. If Suarez wins this freaking stage, it's over. Oh, come on, Jones. Come on. That Jones boy better get the lead. Come on, Jones. Come on, Jones. Get it. Sorry, get so rattled up by Paul because me qualifying is everything. In this race alone. I come here with 15 wins, and that could be all for naught if I don't pass the right people. Right now, Suarez has the one point advantage. If I cannot get by, but the good news is, is Eric Jones is the leader. He's not in this championship form, so he's not factor. I'm gonna dip it in there, see if I can get any leverage. But I, I like where I am right now. I might be one point behind after stage one, but I'm gonna be in row number two on the inside line, so everything's gonna be okay. For now, unless I'm too cocky enough to get by, which I may have a chance right here. Oh, when I get there, when I get there, it's a matter of one point difference. No, I won't. It looks like I'm gonna take third, which is actually a good place to be. I'm gonna be I'm now one point behind Suarez. Jones gets the stage one, but he's not factor. He's not in my he's not on my he's not my concern. He is definitely not my concern. So if I need to be ahead of Jones, I need to win this stage to knot it up. If Suarez wins the second, I get the I, I get the championship because of that playoff point. So let's see what happens. But it looks like Justin Allgaier is not going to be a factor at this moment. All right, let's see. Should be five laps. All right, green flag is in the air. We're underway. At Jeff Gordon going to restart big time. Five laps in stage number two. As long as it can get by Suarez and Jones, I think we're going to be well. New leader, Morgan Shepard. He is back on top of the leaderboard. But Eric Jones gets a much better exit this time. But can I get him, though? Right now, let's take a look at the standings. Oh, I give a little tap on Eric Jones. Can't not clear him. Damn it. But the good news is Morris is in fourth, so I'll be the championship leader going in the stage number three. But I need that stage move because that stage move could be all the difference that will play out points. Actually, get that bonus point. I'm right there with Jones. All right, I got a great run here. I got a great run, but can I stick it? Can I stick it? Can I stick it? No, I can't, but I'm inching in closer on Jones. I'm pulling away from the guys that I need to get by. There's Justin Allgaier now in fourth. He's now in the fourth. Lawrence is dropping back. William Byron, not factor. So it doesn't matter what I do right now, because if I'm ahead and Allgaier, no, there you go. I'm, even if I get by Jones, I think I'm going to be safe. But I need this playoff point because if I get this playoff point, that could be all the difference. Even if all guy were to win, that stage one might have cost him the championship. I cannot find grip on entry and going to the middle of his corners. All I have is just that straightaway to, to rely on.
drones wobbled a little bit. It seems like it might could get the momentum at, at the entrance of corners and stick it. We may have a chance. Well, that Jones boy is gone. I hit the wall. That is not good. That is not good at all. But in the grand scheme of things at this point, do I want to let Cole Custer get by me? Do I want that to happen? Looks like I'm going to be okay, but I'm in a bad spot right now. A good spot in the championship, but I'm in a bad spot going to the final stage. Let's take a look at the damn. Everything looks good. Nothing in yellow. So we are fine. So coming out of turn three and four, Custer may get a good run. You know what, Custer? You can have it. Take third. Take second. You can take second. I think I'm going to be okay. There you have it. This is it. Byron got 10th. Allgaier got 5th. So my round, my, right now my biggest, Suarez got 9th. So if I stay within the top 3, I think I got this championship locked. So this is it. One last stage. Can I get win number 16, but more importantly, win the championship? This is it. Final stage of the season, 13 laps to do it. And so from here to eternity, whether or not I'm going to win this championship. Oh, I got a much better run this time, but that happened the last time. Here comes Jones, here comes Allgaier. If Allgaier wins, I cannot let any of these championship four contenders win. And I had a horrible restart. I just going this restart, as always. Can I clear Cole? Cole's giving me a great, a great, he's not giving up this spot. He wants to have a strong end in the, in the season. So does Brendan Poole. 12 laps to go. It's between me and all guy from championship or tears. Not literal, but frustration of disappointment that those 15 wins will be all for naught. It'll be like when Rusty Wallace won 10 times, fell short of the championship. It's like when Jeff Gordon got 30 top 10s, still fell short of winning the championship. May have to take daring, daring maneuvers to get by, but not like this kind of moves because if I do this kind of move, Justin Allgaier is going to get by me badly. This is not going to help. Because if Allgaier gets all the momentum he needs, he may win this championship. He may have a better chance of winning than I do. But I look at this slipstream. I just slingshot him by. Cleared him. Blocked him. Looks like win 16 may not happen, but at least this championship is all but locked up. As long as I can protect my spot and not let Allgaier take the lead at any time, and I choked it away right there. But I give him a good block where he may not get the momentum. Ten laps to go. Who gets the bottom? And not clear him. This is not good. Because if Allgaier has a much quicker car, he may win the championship by this victory. Still a car out there. I can clear him on the straightaway. This is what I could not do with Jones in the first two stages. Not mad for that whoa, whoa, swear, Brett. We got a championship to win. Nine laps to go. Cole Custer still has not found a way to get by Eric Jones. That Jones boy may win this one. Wishing that that could have been the moment in the sun that he wanted to win that Xfinity Series Championship. Even though, you know, even though in real life he would not be winning the championship because he's a cup regular this season. But in this game, he's considered a championship. Contender, but he's not in the championship fold, so he's not a factor. He had a shot, but he had a terrible round of eight where he eliminated his hopes of winning the championship. So right now, it's just me and all guy here. And look at Sallers in fifth. Byron and Suarez are nowhere near to be found in this picture right now. This is intense, people. Cannot look at the live comments right now because I got a championship to win. I look at it immediately after this, after this race. All guy had a much better run. There's still seven laps to go this Win number 16 doesn't look promising anymore. 
So right now, I just have to protect this spot so I can win this championship and not let Allgaier get a strong momentum or he may have the ability to get by Custer and Jones and win this championship. I am awful at this track and this in this car. Six laps to go. Cannot stop now. I said to look into it. After this stream. Well after this was not this stream, I cannot look at why comments after after I've done streaming. Slightly pulling away for Justin Allgaier. I'm gonna show the lap count for now until we get the five laps to go maybe. Tires are remaining okay, but the right front is still floppy. Five laps to go. Justin Allgaier is gained a much better run that time. Allgaier is coming. Have to use the mirror. The rear view mirror. Looks like Custer may have a shot at Jones, but he cannot find a way. It's like we need this entire race up to this, up until now. Okay, horrible entry this time. I, I hope that it's not Suarez coming up. I hope that red car is not Suarez. That's Jeremy Clements. Not a factor. Four laps to go. Look at this battle for the lead. He's, he cannot get by him. He just cannot get by him at all. Maybe he will this time. Maybe he will. I can see they're going side by side. Nope. Jones still got it going into turn three. Like turn three, you cannot get by anybody unless you mess up and give out track position. That looks like Brendan Poole's gonna get by Clements. Oh boy, the pack is coming. This is not good. Three laps to go. Trying to protect third place. Morgan Shepard is 76 years old, trying to protect third to win this championship. Jeremy Clements has a much stronger run this time. He may find a way to gain momentum. I have to keep blocking. I gotta keep blocking. I gotta defend third. To win this championship, even all, as maybe Allgaier may get second in this championship because he's right up there compared to Suarez and William Byron. That's Elliot Sadler. Suarez is too far behind now. Brendan Poole trying to get by. Two laps to go. Aaron Jones is still the lead. Oh, he hit the wall and there's the caution. Not what I wanted. So not what I wanted in this moment in this race. Jones has hit the wall, the race leader. I'm gonna be in sitting duck like no other. We're not pitting. I hope I got this. I hope I got this. This is it. Overtime for the championship. Byron, non-factor. Do I want this win or do I want to protect the bottom? Because this is the worst spot to have right now. This is the worst scenario possible. Even if I... Because Allgaier could have a shot. All right, Gordon, this restart. Oh, man. Oh, I may have a shot. Oh, they have a shot. Oh, I hit the wall. But I made contact with Allgaier anyways. White flag us out. One lap to go in the final race of the season. And a 40 goes 300. Cole Custer's in the lead. And that block might have just won me the championship. Do I have enough, though, to get by these guys? Doesn't look like it's going to be the case. And in a president point of events, Cole Custer may get this win for Stuart Haas Racing. Even if all guards can get by me right now, it won't matter because coming out of turn three and four at 76 years old, Morgan Shepard with 15 wins will cross the line in fourth in the championship, fourth. And I'm gonna be very likely a 99.9% .9 sure that 76 years old, Morgan Shepard is gonna be the NASCAR Xfinity Series champion. Very, very likely. Daniel Suarez, William Byron, outside the top 10. 
I, pre I have this one locked up. Ty Majeski is, is the last car winner. Carl Long is our last car winner of the season. And because of that... Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! 